Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today is going to be my very first cleaning video. So here I'm just showing you guys what I usually do. I start my essential oil diffuser. Recently I've been using the Young Living Christmas Spirit. Um, this is my first time using it and I actually really love it. So usually I just start this to just kind of, you know, get a good smell going um, while I start to clean. So the first thing that I usually start with when I clean is the kitchen. I don't know, I just feel like the kitchen is like the heart of the home and I just have to, have to do the dishes and clean the kitchen in order to actually be in a cleaning mood. And as this is my first cleaning video, um, I'm just going to kind of talk to you guys while I clean, have some music going in the background, and just kind of chat with you guys while I clean. So this is the soft scrub that I use. Um, I actually use this in the sink, on my stove top, in the toilets, and basically anything that kind of is like a soap scum, you know, prone area. Um, basically I just put it on there, I scrub it in. Um, this scrub I'm actually, I got from TJ Maxx. Uh, so I just kind of like rub it all around and make sure that every surface is covered and then I usually let it sit for really however long, it depends on how dirty the surface is. But um, yeah, usually I let it sit for maybe like 15 minutes um, and then I, you know, rinse it off. So this is the all-purpose cleaner that I use. Um, I just use a spray bottle and I pour the concentrate in there and then obviously dilute it. Um, so I'm just going ahead and cleaning around the kitchen sink. I also like to wipe down all of the stuff that I have sitting out on there just because usually it kind of collects dust a little bit. Here I'm just wiping down the windowsill that's above the sink because you know it does tend to get a little bit dusty up there. Now I'm just kind of scrubbing in the soft scrub um, just a little bit more since it's already set in a little bit but while I wait for that to set in I'm going to go ahead and start on the stove top. My stove top is honestly very hard to keep clean, as you can see all the food and stuff that has gathered on it. Um, so I just kind of put the pine saw down just to kind of make it wet and easy to gather the food. I just use a paper towel to just kind of clean up any, you know, food, anything like that. And then I just kind of spray it again, get up anything that I can with the pine saw. And then anything that I can't get up, then I just leave that to be the work of the soft scrub. So I just take the soft scrub and I pretty much pour it around the, um, what are those, igniting flame things? Um, cause that's usually where all the grease and stuff like that kind of tends to build up. Um, and it's pretty hard to just kind of scrub it with a rag. So I just use the same brush that I used on the sink and just kind of scrub it in, rub it around, make sure every surface is covered. That way it can do its job. So now while the sink and the stove are just kind of sitting, I'm going to go ahead and clean down the countertops. Um, I like to wipe down my Keurig because it is black and it shows the dust and all that really easily. Um, so I like to wipe that down. 
Jack Frost nipping at your nose. And then I like to kind of pick up anything that um, I have sitting out, like my fruit bowl and my oil, and I just kind of like to wipe everything down because grease tends to get on pretty much everything. Although it's been said many times, many ways, Merry Christmas. So now that the soft scrub and the sink has set for about 15 or 20 minutes, I'm going to go ahead and turn on the water and just kind of start scrubbing it off, um, rinsing it, and using a little bit of uh, elbow grease to just kind of scrub anything that's stuck on there. Does anybody else think this is like the most satisfying part of cleaning your kitchen is rinsing off the soap and just like seeing it like run down? I don't know. Maybe I'm weird, but I think that that's like so satisfying. Now that my stove top has set for a little bit, um, I'm just going in with a rag and just kind of spreading everything around, making sure that stuff is like kind of starting to come off. Um, and then I kind of just like scoop up the excess of the soft scrub with a paper towel. That way I can just throw it away. Um, this kind, this part is kind of a pain, but uh, it's really the only way to do it because you, obviously it's not a sink so you can't just turn the water on. Um, so I just do that and then I just go in with a rag and just kind of scrub everything off as much as I can. Then I go in with the Pine Saw all-purpose cleaner that I have and I just kind of wipe, kind of wipe the soft scrub off and anything else that it didn't get. Now I'm just going ahead and wiping down my microwave. Um, the From fingerprints and stuff like that just kind of gets a little bit greasy. The inside of it I actually just cleaned not that long ago so that doesn't really need to be done. Now I'm just going ahead and wiping down our bar area because that's where we eat at every night. Um, and then I'm going to go ahead and move into the living room. Um, so here I am telling Daisy to pick up all of her toys, but she never listens to me. <laughs> She's looking at me like I'm crazy. But I just kind of pick up all the blankets and put them where they go, uh, straighten up the cushions and all the pillows and stuff like that. Because usually the dogs get up on it and it all just kind of looks a hot mess after a while. Isn't Daisy so cute? Look at her just watching me. She's the cutest. Now I'm just taking everything off of our TV stand and spraying it down with the pine saw and wiping all the dust and there tends to get dog hair up there and on those little mirror things and on the shelves and literally everything in my house. So I just kind of wipe it down as much as I can. I wish that every day of the year. Look at Jackson background. <laughs> so next after I should kind of straighten up the living room, um, I'm just going to go ahead and clean the half bath downstairs. Again, I use a soft scrub in the toilet. While that's sitting in the toilet, I just kind of use a pine saw and spray around the toilet, getting up any dust. Now that the soft scrub has sat for a little bit in the toilet, I just scrub it with a toilet scrub.
a rubber brush thing. Um, I flush it a few times just to make sure that everything gets cleaned off. Then I just go ahead and use the pine saw on the sink. Um, this bathroom doesn't really get that dirty, but it does get kind of dusty. So next I just move into the common area um, and just kind of spray it down and then I'm going to go ahead and use this little Swiffer industrial broom. Um, I usually do this before I vacuum just to catch all the dog hair and it does really good with literally just sticking to the dog hair. Um, so I just kind of do this before I vacuum just to kind of help me out a little bit. Also, it's really nice because it gets under the furniture, um, so I don't really have to worry about under the furniture because it's so big that it gets under there. Then I just kind of make a pile of all the dog hair and everything that comes off of it right here. And then I take my shark vacuum and I just suck it up with a little hose attachment. And then while I have the hose attachment out, I just go around literally like the perimeter of everything downstairs and just get all the dog hair, anything that sticks in the corners, anything that I can't really get with just the broom, you know, just the stuff that gets stuck in the corners. Then after I do that with the hose attachment, I go ahead and just vacuum the floors. Some people think it's weird that I vacuum the hardwood floors, but my vacuum actually has a setting for bare floors, not carpet. Um, and then it has the carpet one too with the brush roll. So I actually really love this vacuum. Um, it works really well with having dogs, so I'll link it down below. So now I'm just moving into the living room, I'm using the hose attachment again around the Christmas tree because the dog hair likes to stick to my tree skirt. Um, and then I just go ahead and I use a hose attachment and vacuum the ottoman and the entire couch and pillows and everything because, like I said, dog hair is everywhere. Now I'm just going ahead and using the brush roll setting on the vacuum and vacuuming our shag carpet. Usually I use a carpet uh, powder, but I actually didn't have any, so this will do for now. Now that I vacuumed up all the dog hair, probably not all of it, but you know, um, I go ahead and I use my Shark Steam Mop. Um, this is the best mop that I've had for the, these floors. Um, so you literally just fill it up with water and then just kind of pump it a little bit to get the steam going. And then it just gets hot and it steams and it basically melts off all the dirt on the floor. And I really like it because it doesn't soak the floors and it actually dries pretty quickly and gets them pretty clean. Again, I'll link this down below with the vacuum as well. So 
that's pretty much my cleaning routine. Um, it's pretty much what I do at least once a week. And I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope this gave you some motivation to clean going into the new year. If you guys like this cleaning video, because this is my first one, um, let me know. I would love to do more of them because it was nice to clean and film a video at the same time. It was like a win-win, you know? Don't forget to subscribe before you leave and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye guys.